What's going on everyone, Dak Blyman here. And I got a question for all you guys that are running saws every day. Do you wear chainsaw protective footwear? This, not chainsaw protective footwear. This is just a regular Red Wings boot. It's got absolutely no tread on the bottom. It doesn't have a safety toe, which isn't good for most of us because we're working around skidders and tractors and chainsaws. It's not gonna work. Oh, this is... You need some chainsaw protective boots. We invest so much money in our safety and get helmets and intercom systems and nice fancy equipment with safety features, anti-kickback bars, and we put on chaps when we cut, but you don't wear protective boots? So you're telling me, you're telling me, you're telling me you wear some chaps, but you won't wear protective chainsaw boots. So this particular chap does not offer very much protection in my opinion. It is not a wrap around the calf. I'm not wearing a chainsaw protective work boot. I do have a steel toe on, but for the most part, I don't feel safe. If I was uh, to be doing a lot of cutting or cutting in a crowded area where things are moving around. Here is the regular chainsaw pant with the chainsaw boot. Again, not the wrap around. Seems to offer decent, it's decent. You'll be safe safer with the if you're looking for full coverage protection you want a wrap around chap that goes all the way around your calf and then pair it with a class 3 chainsaw boot that's 28 meters per second again get some wrap around chaps or some class c chainsaw pants and pair them with a quality chainsaw boot these things are massive super safe no flex, steel toe, got a super kicking toe cap just for busting heads. These lug soles will get you through anything. And we're talking about class three chainsaw protection. That's 28 meters per second. That's like what, 50, 60 miles an hour? I'm not good at conversions, but you need these chainsaw protection.